Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Sydney here. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a little tutorial. It will be super duper easy. A couple of you wanted to know what my skincare was and how to do brows. I thought that I could do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and trying some new products as well. So for my skincare, I like to keep it pretty easy. Um, I felt when I had really bad acne that uh, one of the causes was just overusing too many products. Um, maybe they didn't mesh together or too much is not good sometimes, especially when it comes to your skin. So what I do is I use a cleanser. I use the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. And that I, I see a difference in my skin with that. Um, I also use, I flip flop between um, the Pharmacy Greens Oil Free Moisturizer and the Origins, it's like a matte uh, moisturizer. It's pink. Um, I think it's like Willow or something like that. I like, I like go between those two. Um, if I need a little bit more moisture, I usually use the pharmacy one, and then if I feel like I'm pretty oily, I use the Origins one. Um, so I'll use cleanser, moisturizer, sometimes I'll add a serum in there depending on what my skin needs at that point. Um, under eye cream, and then I always, always, always use a sunscreen 365 days a year. doesn't matter what you use, but... Um, I use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. You apply it after you apply all your skincare, so this will be the last step. So I'm just looking at the description. It says it's a totally invisible, weightless, scentless, and makeup gripping daily primer with SPF on it, in it, SPF 40. Um, it's good for all skin types. And I believe it's really good for oily because it's good for fine lines, wrinkles, pores, dullness, and uneven texture. So yeah, and it's like a gel. It's like a it feels like a silicone like a silicone primer if you've ever used one. So this is what I use. Already have it on. But really any facial sunscreen will work. Here, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So what I'll do is um my eyebrows are I've let so this one used to be this one looks funky. It's like darker in this area because I had microblading in the past and it hasn't really worn off. Um, but I've let, this has always been my thicker eyebrow and I've let this one grow in a lot since quarantine. So it's nice. So I'll just um, do that, lift up all my hairs and then I'll just go in and trace under the brow. Like so. And then I'll start to fill it in like that and brush it out. And then I'll do my top. You can always wipe it away if you make a mistake. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown, but I'll also use the brow powders. I really like those as well. And then I'll just comb through and make sure there's no harsh lines. And that's, that's literally what I do for my eyebrows. Like it's pretty simple since this one's quite, um, thick on its own. Um, sometimes if I'm doing a really glam look, I'll go with concealer and carve it out. I'm also going to be using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I'm going to use right now. It's so comparable to the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I actually like this one a lot better. I see a difference in the lengthening of my foundation and my um, products on my skin. Um, with the Tatcha, I don't really, so I actually really like this, and it's a huge price difference. I like to put it under my um, 
eyes like this to fill in the lines a little bit as well. And then obviously in my poor areas, but I feel like my makeup uh, sticks a lot longer when I use this. Next, I'm going to use my Superstay Foundation in 112. I love this. I have it in my kit, my makeup kit, because it's that good. Like, I swear by it. So I'm just going to take a pump. So I'm just going to put this foundation on. So you're matching it to the rest of your body. My, this is actually a pretty light color for me right now. I have it in my kit. Like, I have this foundation in my kit, so I guess I could just pull it out, but um, whatever. I'm going to warm up my skin later, so I don't really care. But I love this foundation. Out of all the different foundations I've used, drugstore, high-end, like, you know, like, I am a foundation queen. Like, I have so many foundations. I haven't bought uh, some in quite a while just because I have so many to get through and I need to get through them. So I haven't bought any, but honestly, this is like my top, my like number one because it stays on all day. It does not break me out, which is like huge because most foundations break me out and it's full coverage. It says that it's matte, but I don't really feel like it's a matte on my skin, maybe because I'm oily, <laughs> but yeah. All right, so I got it all blended in here. Blend down your neck, even though it doesn't match. Like I look, <laughs> I don't realize how much I tan until I'm like, oh, none of my foundations match me. Like I don't ever go outside, but this summer I've really, I've really gone outside, so. There's that. <laughs> so for bronzer, I'm actually going to use my cream bronzer by Fenty. I have two. I have the Butter Biscuit and the Macchiato, which is a little bit deeper, but I actually prefer the Macchiato. So I'll just take a brush like this. <laughs> it's like that. It's, it's used. And I'll dip in and I'll start applying on the areas where you would bronze up your skin and it's um a glowier um product i know there are drugstore kind of um similar things to this um there's also like the fenty sticks and the uh tan tour by um Huda Beauty, which I have that one. I feel like that one is good for, like, if you want to do, like, a full glam. Like, you really want to go all out. This one's kind of like, oh, hey. I'm just kind of playing up my... Playing up the bronze look. And I'll run it down my neck a little bit. So it kind of matches a little bit on my nose. So it looks like I'm a little bit more tanned on my face that's really it like super quick that's why I love cream because it's like supposed to be super quick um so then I'm gonna go in with my elf hydrating camo concealer in a fair beige I like this way better than their other camo concealer um this one's way more nourishing and not super dry the other one's way too dry for my skin even though I'm oily it's way too dry for my under eyes I dislike it. I have a wet beauty blender. Obviously, it's not that clean, but I'm going to highlight my face a little bit. And then I'll apply it to my eyelids to cover any um, redness, veins, you name it. Um, if I do makeup, I don't really do eyeshadow. Like, I haven't done eyeshadow and left my house since... March when I went to the Glorious Sons concert and uh, that was March 10th and that was the last time that I wore makeup and actually left my house so yeah Anyways, I'm gonna go back with the bronzer a little bit just to mesh the highlight and bronzer in together I also have the Fenty cream 
blush in Petal Poppin. I use this one a lot. So it's like this. It's cute. It's cute. I'm going to go in with my blush brush, pick some up, take it and bring it back into the bronzer. Don't overdo it or overdo it. I don't care. And I put it on my nose a bit. Like that sun-kissed, sunburnt look, you know. Then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Shake it up. And honestly, this stuff is like the best. I wanted it for so long and I finally bought it. It's I feel like it's luxury, so I don't want to... I didn't want to pay for it for a long time, but I always get samples of it, and honestly, it is, to me, it's worth the money, but to each their own, and then I just kind of put it on my high points of where I would apply highlighter, but this is kind of just like a, just a glow. I'll show you on my cheeks when I blend it in. I mean, we're all ready dewy as heck, but this just adds a little bit of a, more of a an extra do, do the do. Oh, and then I'm actually gonna go in and blend out my under eye again and my actual eyelid because the only place that I do set is my under eye and eye area because it really gets creasy and it makes my eyes very um, blurry when I don't set it because the product moves around too much. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder, or this is in the shade Butter. And I'll kind of just stamp it on there. It smells so good. Like, honestly. I know people don't like um, smelly fragrances in their um, beauty products, but this one, I love Fenty smell. Um, I'm actually going to go in with some products my friend gave me. It's from Artistry Studios, so here's the mascara base, and then here's the actual mascara. I guess they're made in Canada or the U.S., but I'm just gonna curl my lashes first. I'm gonna try it out. I hope it doesn't... Oh, weird. It's like a It's like a, I don't even know, like a concealer kind of, like a, it's like, strange. I'm interested to see if, oh wow, my lashes already look so long using this. You can't really see them, but, wow, they look like freakishly long. That's what the mascara looks like. And then I always wonder about eye primers, like are they going to work for other mascaras or... Oh shit! That's actually really good! My eyelashes are like never this long. It's crazy, like I have short lashes and they like to just kind of flump over, but that, that looks actually really good. I'm impressed, let's do the other eye. I'm going to let this one dry longer and see if it works a little better. Because, I mean, it worked, like, good, but is it going to work better? I'm going to pop on these new lips, satin lips from e.l.f. They're, like, two bucks. This is a Nectar. This is like two bucks, and it feels so creamy. Now I'm going to go in with cream for just a little bit in the center. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, we're going to go in with the mascara for the second tie. I 
I don't know how I feel yet because this is just kind of initially putting it on, but I have to see if it makes black marks under my eye or if it holds up all day. But from initial application, I really like it. My final conclusion is I think I really like this um, together. I don't know. I'll have to kind of wait and see and check it out. And by the way, if you do have mascara marks here, here, wait till it dries. Just, you know, five minutes. Take a little bit, take a Q-tip and just smudge it off. It will come right off. Don't do anything with it when it's wet. It will smear everywhere. Wreck it how look. It won't be good. I think this is the finished look. This is like just an easy summer look. And you don't have to use a full foundation. Most of the time I use like a, a, a CC cream or a BB cream or a tint and moisturizer or just my bare skin. Add a little bit of disc, add a little bit of bronzer, and add a little bit of blush. And honestly, it makes your skin, your skin is glowing. It's amazing. Um, I highly recommend the camera concealer, the hydrating one. If your under eyes are dry, if you feel like they're not really dry and they could withstand some matteness, I would go with this one. But I like this one more. And I really like these e.l.f. lipsticks. They feel really nice. The packaging is cheap, heck yeah, but the quality is up there 100%. I'm happy with all the things that I tried today, and uh, this is the final look. If you guys want to see any more videos, just comment down below. Uh, I hope you have an awesome day. It's a little hot outside. I think this might be melted off, but that's okay. I'm a dewy bitch. Okay. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.